Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Isis. Uh, you guys are new here, welcome. I hope you guys like what you see. Maybe hit that subscribe button, uh, leave a like and a comment. Um, so let's get into it. <coughs> so, I'm not really going to talk about FNAF. Uh, it's, it's plain to see that I, I'm trash. I've been trash with this fandom for a couple years now, and it, I don't think it's going anywhere. Uh, this is more about uh, stickers, and um, I've been doing some tests with my Cricut uh, because I really like my Cricut, <coughs> and I want to learn how to use it better, uh, but a lot of the <coughs> uh, tutorials in terms of sticker making for Cricut have to do with planners. Um, now, there's nothing wrong if you guys like making planner stickers. I'm not knocking people for making planner stickers because I can, I, I can attest they can be kind of expensive. <coughs> um, and it's good to make an investment if it's something you want to do, uh, for yourself or even if you sell the stickers. <coughs> but, uh, yeah. <coughs> this is more along the terms for artists. Um, and people who make stickers, uh, for specific fandoms, or, uh, you know, even of their own original characters, so on and so forth, and don't want to pay third party, and don't like hand cutting like I do. <clears throat> Not that I can't hand cut, it's just a lot, uh, a lot more tedious to do, and it's kind of just a pain. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, um, I've tested two sticker papers so far. I've tested the Silhouette Cameo clear sticker paper. I've also tested <coughs> uh, the Cricut sticker paper, which is all white. Um, and it's been hit or miss with both. Um, it was <coughs> kind of a miss twice with the uh, Silhouette sticker paper, mostly because... Uh, the first one, I don't think I cut it down correctly. <coughs> I don't think I had the proper cut on it. Um, and I was really learning the design space. That was like my first try with it. And uh, it didn't really go so well. Uh, the second test wasn't as bad. Like the first test, I couldn't get any of the stickers off. Um, they weren't uh, coming up with their sticker portion. It was literally just, like, the top part of the sticker paper and not the actual sticker. So that kind of sucked. <coughs> uh, the second one is not as bad. Um, I managed to get a couple of stickers off, um, but there was a risk for tearing, um, with some of the... The couple of them, specifically Pearl, um, because she had more intricate cuts than the others did. <coughs> so, um, I, A, have to re rework her design a little bit. Um, but other than that, it came out okay. I got a couple of stickers off just to sort of test and see if I could get them off. So I, I took off Garnet, who is um, roughly about half the size of my pinky. Um, or, um, maybe not half, maybe a little more like two-thirds, because she goes down to about the second digit of my pinky, and I have relatively small hands, and, uh, my Steven sticker is, is probably about half the size of my pinky. Um, <coughs> so it was kind of interesting. Uh, the Cricut paper was a little more, of a, a little bit more of a pain in the ass, uh, and the reason I say that is, uh, I did two tests. I did one with sticker sheets, and then I did one with just individual cut stickers. Um, <clears throat> the Cricut sticker paper is kind of thick, and definitely thicker in comparison to the clear sticker paper, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but <clears throat> to do an individual cut on those stickers, I think I need to do a deeper cut than the, what it suggests for the sticker paper. I think the sticker paper is like, I think it's like 0.20 millimeters, and I think I need to go like 0.23 just to cut through the back of it, um, <coughs> which is not 
terrible. I haven't tested it yet because I'm a little bit afraid. I don't want to cut through my, uh, like cut too so deep it goes into the mat, but I have I haven't been able to cut through the sticker paper and it's funny because I actually did um I think a triple cut on my individual cut stickers just to see how far it would go and uh even after three cuts it wouldn't go through it and managed to get through the paper on some of them, but not everyone. And it didn't even come entirely through the the paper. So <clears throat> excuse me. Um so I, I definitely know I need to cut uh a slightly deeper if I wanna have individual cut uh, uh individual die cut stickers for that. So that's not a big deal. I just have to be a little bit uh careful so I don't um break the uh the the, the uh, machine itself. Um the other thing is <coughs> what the the design the design space for Cricut um it I've only ever seen one person make actual stickers that weren't planner stickers but they had a cameo. So the design space between the two uh die cut machines is totally different in how they operate, but when doing the the uh, design space for uh for cricket it is <coughs> they don't give you a lot of room um i e it, something about their measurements is kind of off um and i think it, it has to be like five and a half by like like three and a half or something like that or maybe the other way around um, and that somehow equals a full sheet. I, I don't know. It's weird. <coughs> I've not been able to uh, quite get that measurement down because a lot of times what is happening, at least the way I did it, um, I'm not getting en enough usage out of the paper. Um, like there's a good three to four inches that I'm not being able to use <coughs> on the sticker paper for both. Um, so I think next I'm going to just try my, try to do a, a cut instead of a print and cut just to see what kind of results I can get. <coughs> because in all honesty, if I, I, I could do without having to struggle with that part of it. Now, I'm pretty sure that the, the the print and cut is not bad for other things. Don't get it twisted. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure there's plenty of things that I can do, uh, but uh, wasting so much of the paper uh, is a big no-no for me, especially for a uh, paper that's not that cheap. The Cricut uh, sticker paper, I think, was like ten dollars. Um, it was on sale, so it it you wouldn't think it'd be that bad for me, but it only comes with like twelve sheets. And then the clear sticker paper, which was uh six ninety nine, only comes with like six sheets, and that's really not cost effective, especially when you're you know trying to use this to make products. It doesn't work. <coughs> so. I've got a couple of more tests to do. Um, I think what happened with the clear sticker paper, though, uh, <coughs> is I might need a slightly different setting. Um, just to make sure the stickers will come off and not just peel the top layer of the sticker off. Um, and like I said, with the individual die cuts, I will most certainly have to um, uh, do a slightly deeper cut. Um, that's just, you know, my experience so far. I'm definitely not an expert, <laughs> clearly. Um, but I'm hoping that this will work out. The only thing I haven't tried is to do sticker paper with a laminate on top. That's only because the lamination that I do have 
is a double-sided laminate, and I don't need double-sided. <clears throat> Not that it would hurt me any, because I'm pretty sure I can, you know, do just fine with that. Um, especially because the there's no, uh, there's no protective coating on the Cricut sticker paper, so it is literally sticker paper. <laughs> it, it's pretty flat, it's smooth, but you want to be able to protect that you know, surface, you don't want your stickers to get dirty like mine are, um, so I'm, I may give it a go, just to see how it'll work, I just think it'll suck to have lamination on the back, um, but yeah, I'm gonna, you know, keep trying, you know, uh, hopefully I can come up with some good results with my next couple of tests because I would like to do some badges and maybe some some bookmarks for those who still like reading books or still have actual books that they can read that isn't on like a Kindle because a lot of people have Kindles these days, myself included. Um, <coughs> but yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if I sound uh, less enthusiastic than normal. Not that I ever sound that enthusiastic. Um, but we're coming to the end of the speed paint portion. Um, you'll get a full view of what the stickers look like. And then I'll come back with uh, uh, some footage of my uh, stickers. But uh, yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye. Alright, so here are my sticker tests. Um, I'm not using my tripod for this, so I uh, forgive the uh, shakiness if there's any. Um, so I'm going to start with the clear stickers first. This is actually the first sticker sheet that I tried. Um, and as you can see, I tore square mom. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't even take off the sticker backing. It's actually still on here, which is kind of a bummer. Like I said, this sheet comes with like, uh, this pack comes with like six sheets, and it's like six dollars, and that's, that's trifling, to be quite honest. Um, these are from the second one, um, I just cut them in half recently, um, but I took, uh, Garnet and Steven from this one just fine, um, but I tore this bird bomb, which is kind of sucky, um, and then there's another sheet around here. There's the other one. And I took the amethyst from this one. Um, and I tried to take off pearl from this one. And I ripped her again. I honestly think this pearl is too delicate. And I think because they're too small, um, it's not quite right. So I definitely have to fix that. Um... The other thing is my Five Nights at Freddy stickers, which were my oh, there's my sticker sheet. Um, this is the sticker sheet. Um, <clears throat> even the the back part of it is a sticker, <laughs> so there's that. If you want to have the silhouette of them, that's funny. That would actually be kind of funny. Um, and I know they look more short than chibi, but Except for Foxy. Foxy looks like the most chippy one out of all of them. Cause, usually because Foxy is a little bit taller. But, um, yeah. I actually don't mind them, though. Um, I took Bonnie off of this sticker sheet. Because these are just my test sheets. Um, but they would definitely... I think the laminate would be good on them. Just to help preserve them a little bit better. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. Um, and these are the individual die cuts. Uh, you can see here, there's the waste from the paper, like, I tried to add more here, but they wouldn't let me, which didn't make any sense, because it wasn't like they were too close. So, there's waste here, and there's definitely waste here, which could have definitely been filled out. Um, and, but you can even, ah, wait, I'll use this one. See how much got wasted? Like I tried to add another set, and it wouldn't let me add another set on there. And then there's all of this over here. Just complete waste. But, yeah. But these are my, uh, my sticker tests. I still have some more to do. But I hopeful, hope this was insightful for some of you guys who might be thinking about getting a Cricut or some kind of die-cut machine. Um instead of hand scoring and hand 
uh, cutting. <laughs> oh, I can show you what I need. <laughs> By what I need to laminate for. This was one of the first stickers I made, uh, back, uh, I think, last year? Um, this was cut by hand, um, but I did have sticker paper, and, uh, she's a little grody. <laughs> this is Toy Chica. Um, I also have a puppet up here. He's actually fairly pristine, considering, um, but that's probably because I don't touch that part of the computer a lot. Um, and you got, can't see them that well down here. Uh, let me see if I can get this further into the light. So there's Amethyst and uh, Garnet. And then I have a Steven over here. And I'll see how they'll hold up with the wear and tear of me opening and touching my laptop. But, yeah. Alright. See you guys in the next video. Bye.